We have here the details of learners in grades 10, 11 and 12 who play hockey and netball. We would like to represent these numbers in a chart. I'm going to select the numbers that I want to represent. I'm selecting the data series. And I'm going insert. And here I can choose from a number of different chart types. I'm going to choose column chart. This is interesting. The row headings are the values on the horizontal axis. And the column headings are here in the legend. Now I need to add a title to this chart. I'm going to click there. And I can now type there. And when I press enter, the text there will change. Correct. Now I need to add a title here to this vertical axis. Now to do that, I must select chart. Now here in the chart tools, we have two new types, design and format. Design. I need vertical axis title. I'm going to go here to chart elements, add chart elements. I want a vertical axis title there. And that must say number of learners. I'm typing there. And when I finish typing and I press enter, it will change here. There. Now, if I want to move this chart from this worksheet to a new worksheet, I go there to move chart. A new sheet? Yes. And I can say OK. It is on a separate sheet now to the data. I'm now going to follow the instructions for activity number one. In the spreadsheet, we have the details of the learners in grades 10, 11, and 12 who play hockey and netball. Now, I want to create a chart to represent the number of learners who play hockey. I'm going to select the cells from A2 to B5. I've selected the data series. I'm going to go Insert. And I want to create a column chart, a clustered column chart. If we look carefully at this, the row headings are there on the horizontal axis. And the column heading is here in the chart title. Now, on the vertical axis, I need to add a title. I'm going to go to Chart Tools, Design and Format, Design, Add Chart Element, Axis Title, Primary Vertical Axis Title. And I want that to say Number of Players. This is selected. I'm going to type there. Number of Players. And as I press enter, I don't want all that. As I press enter, what is on, on the formula bar will display there. Correct. Let me move this chart to one side. Yeah. Now, I'm going to select the cells A2 to C5. 
And now I'm going to create another column chart. Insert. Charts. Column chart. And I want it to be a clustered column chart. The row headings are there. The column headings are now here as part of the legend. Now this particular chart, I want to move to a new worksheet. I've selected the chart. Move chart to new sheet. There it is on the new sheet. Now the chart title, that I'm going to select it. The chart title must say hockey and netball. And this chart must, and that title must be bold and black. Right click, font, black, bold. Okay. Now the vertical axis, I need the title number of players. I'm going to go there to add chart elements. Axis title, vertical. Because that block is selected, and I type it here, and press Enter, it will change. Correct. I want this to be formatted as 10 points in black. Select the block. Font. 10 points. And I want the font color to be black. Correct. Now this legend. I want to move the legend to the top of the chart. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go here to design. Add chart elements. Legend. And I want it to be on top. There it is. Now the legend I want to be 11 points. Right click. Font. 11 points. Bold. Okay, my data labels, data labels are what go there. Select, add chart elements, data labels, outside, data labels, outside. And there we are. There we have our chart in a separate place to our data. This was when we selected the first set of details, and that was when we selected all the details.